Hi you guys and welcome to the Allure for More. And of course it's your girl Renika Moore. Hey you guys, I know you guys see a little sample here. Did I create this? Negative. But you guys, we are going to get into the spirit of Halloween. So you guys, so this episode, I'm kind of preparing for a Halloween party that me and my husband are throwing. So I wanna kinda give you guys some little tidbits, some little tips, different places you guys can go for costumes for the low low, or just if you're looking for costumes, you know, where to go. And I'm also gonna show you guys some stuff that I've been doing to prepare for the Halloween party, which is next week. So excited about that. You guys, oh, I'm gonna be in rare form. Not really shoulds, but I am gonna be lit, 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 okay? But, oh, and don't forget, subscribe, like, or simply comment. Okay, so enough of that chitter chatter. So let's get into it. Okay, shoots, that's right. Okay, you guys, so I am scrolling up on my Pinterest board of my Halloween decor. So I would highly recommend you guys, if you're not on Pinterest, get on Pinterest because there's amazing inspiration on there. And I usually tend to go on there for a lot of things, but specifically here is for my Halloween party, which is going to be next week. I'm so excited. But you guys, again, look at all these bomb stuff. Look, look at all this. Look, and a lot of this stuff is DIY, you guys. And guess what? Dollar Tree, that's where I go. But download Pinterest, you guys, though, for sure. Now here, after I gather all my inspiration and all that good stuff, I go into my notes, write down um, different ideas, how I want to um, incorporate certain ideas, certain inf inspiration that I found, and then put it in my notes. Now, okay, you guys, I did say I was going to give you different places you can go for customs. Party City being one has an, a whole array of different costumes. We got Walmart, and then Walmart is really good. Oh, my gosh, Walmart is really good for um, not just costumes, you know, but really more so decor than the costumes, to be honest with you. Um, and there are decor and stuff um, that you can, like, gather from there are actually relatively close to Dollar Tree um, pricing. It could be low, as low as a dollar for some things that I found. But it's always about the timing that you shop, you guys shop, you guys. We've been planning this party about mm, a month and a half or so, but it's always best to shop off season. Y'all know that. Now going on to Amazon, you guys. Amazon, you guys already know that's overly satura saturated, but... You can find some good deals on there as well. But, you guys, my biggest jewel that I found was Goodwill. Goodwill has some cool costumes. And it's Goodwill. It's a thrift store. So, I would recommend maybe even shopping at thrift stores because I went to the local Goodwill. And, you guys, I found some. They had some great hair, great wigs, mustaches, facial um, makeup, clothes. You guys can really make it work. Shopping at a thrift store for the low, low. Okay, y'all know I like a deal. So, boom. And then we got Spirit Halloween. Spirit Halloween really has a, a good array um, of costumes, sizes, all of that stuff. And they are good at um, giving you coupons. But I would say that um, it does take a little minute for your costume to get in from there. Unless you have a local um, store you can go to. So, I recommend that as well. You guys, don't forget, there's something you guys can do for me. Shh, shh. Come here, come here. Okay, there's a thing called subscribe and like button down below. So you guys, let me know, you know, what else y'all need from me, you know, like what else you want to see, get into it, but. Okay, you guys, so here you see my, my favorite store, Dollar Tree, okay. So you got to have a glue gun, some weird spider rings, and black duct tape. Here, just pour it out. Make it nice and easy for you to access. So here, I got a dollar tin can. It was actually a Christmas tin can. I just covered it with the black duct tape. 
and I carved out a slit because this is going to be my ballot for best costume box. And I just had glued those little skulls and things like that on that 3D look to it. And then I just went to the computer and typed out the drop in votes thing. As you go here, so you guys see these crazy eyeballs. I decided to glue this on top of a actual clear bin that wasn't being used um, um, at Dollar General. So I said, okay, I can make this work. So this is going to be my creepy note container for our game that we're going to be playing later that night. It's going to be some morbid, silly, crazy little question statements. It's, it's going to be a fun game. So I just did that. I just... Did the same thing. I kind of put the black duct tape over that and just printed out some labels. And there you go. It looked like a little crazy, little weird looking thingy. <laughs> so, and as we move on, you see, I, I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of stuff that I started doing. Um, I'm not gonna, I can't show you guys everything, but it's going to be a lot more to come. I can't wait to share that video with you guys from our party. So stay tuned, you guys.